for the women. Why does Dodger all your jobs? Because I killed a couple of marks for him. That's why. You ever hear of Jackson? Or Night Terror? I take the never beans. Damn right they were. And they were good too. Till I popped a couple shells in their assholes. Bam. Dead. Finished. Over. See, somebody gives me a job, I do it. Maybe I complain a little here and there, but my shit gets done. How long have you been a bounty hunter? Oh shit, I don't know. Gotta be at least a month. Longer than I last in most jobs. You've worked a lot of different trades? Oh yeah, a lot. Like before I was a bounty hunter, I worked as a caravan guard. You'd think that was a cakewalk, right? Wrong. Crazy bastards expected me to wake up at dawn. Forget it. It's about two hours after this guy hits the sack. And I need at least 10, 12 hours of sleep to do my job. Price of excellence. I've been on a hundred few bounties myself. Well, hey, the field's wide open now that I'm gone. Probably lots of people looking to get in once they hear I quit. What are you going to do now? Simple. Gonna make myself some easy money. I got a plan. Once I get my caps from Daughtry, I'm going to head on over to Gamora and win big at cards. There's not as many people playing at Gamora, so that means I've got better odds of winning big. I got this figured out. It's not a good plan. Hey, yeah. Next time you see me, maybe I'll be rolling in a shitload of caps, right? I don't think so. That's not really a solid plan, my dude. That's, um, that's a pretty shitty plan. I feel like that's gonna come collapsing on your head. Taking whatever money you have and go spending it in a, in a casino is not a good idea. Investigate's better. Yeah, it's always fucking dark in this place. Where the hell is this guy? Oh, there he is. A pleasure to meet you. I'm Dr. Thomas Hildern, Director of Operations, OSI East. I presume you're here about Vault 22? Uh, no, this is the first I've heard about Vault 22. No, they wouldn't have briefed you, would they? Probably better that our junior fellows stay within the bounds of their pay grade anyway. Vault 22. Where to begin? Imagine, okay. if you will, the wasteland in bloom. Vast fields of corn that grow from seeds and produce their bounty in the space of a month. Orchards of trees, their branches weighed halfway to the ground, hung with fat, ripe oranges, a harvest that could feed a city or a nation. And all of this, all this, requiring no more than a few drops of precious water and the efforts of only a handful of human farmers. Impossible? Nothing is impossible. Precisely. Science has proven that truth a thousand times over. But how many wasteland savages believe it? Present company accepted, of course. The bounty I describe to you is no idle fantasy. It exists in primitive form only a few miles from where we stand. We need only reach out and unlock its secret. For that, the OSI needs you. Scientific discovery is never so simple as that. Isn't it? One directs one's efforts, or the efforts of others, toward a goal, and progress is made. It's a matter of incentives, nothing more. I believe that the inhabitants of Vault 22 unlock the secrets of vegetative growth. Plants are spilling from their gate. No one tends them. No one waters them. Yet they multiply and spread in all directions. Find the reason for this miraculous growth, and I promise you the OSI will see that you are generously compensated. All right, I'll Good. do it. 
No need to check in with the NCR authorities. I can authorize your payment from OSI accounts. Vaults typically contain a server room on a lower level, where they would have backed up their research data. A computer room, you understand? Download all the information on the central server to your Pip-Boy, and you'll be certain to bring me any notes or samples that you find, won't you? Indeed. Anything else I should know? I thought it was a fairly straightforward assignment. It's a simple question of retrieving the data, which shouldn't prove overly challenging. Downloading the data will be handled by your Pip-Boy. You might think of yourself as a mere means of conveyance. Uh, no insult intended, of course. I asked him other questions. Oh, what might those be? Tell me more about the OSA. The Office of Science and Industry. It's a rather expansive topic. I could talk for hours, but I'm sure I'd bore you. Suffice to say, we are the leading edge of the NCR. Our work focuses on practical matters. Medicine, engineering, biology. The dam, for instance. OSI roots its energy supply to our cities in the West. That's only one responsibility of this office. You said you were the director of the OSI? Director of the entire OSI? Me? If I didn't know better, I'd say you were trying to plant seditious ideas in my head. <laughs> no. I direct our eastern operations. I've been responsible for squeezing unprecedented levels of power from the dam. I'm also confronting the problem of food production in what little spare time I have. But I've found some promising leads. You're doing all these things yourself? Yes, with the assistance of my team, of course. NCR has a, a food storage? Not yet, but our government understands the value of proactive thought. Our studies project an imbalance between production and consumption. Or, for a layman such as yourself, not enough food, too many mouths to feed. Mass starvation Fucking in a dick. decade or so. That guy's an asshole. What are responsibilities of his office? Now? I don't really care. Yes? Something else? I have an invoice here from Alice Mala oh, let me clap From you. Alice? I'll see that she's paid right away. Crimson Caravan runs a tight operation. Even out here in the waste, wouldn't do to keep them waiting. Was there anything else? Or were you just here about the invoice? Cool. That guy's a dick. Or in layman's terms, since you're, you're an idiot. Did Dr. Hildern... This really isn't any of my business, but... Did he give you a job? Yeah, he asked me to get some data from Vault 22. I shouldn't say anything. I know that. But you're not the first person Hildern sent out to the vault. There were a lot of mercs, one after another. None of them came back. Then, about a week ago, there was a scientist, Keeley. She's unusual. Not the sort of person you'd expect, but she's an absolute genius, and... And he didn't mention her? Not even her name? Or any of the other mercs? No, Hildern didn't mention anyone else. But now he's hired you, which means one of two things. Either he heard back from Keeley and she failed, or he's given up on her. Listen, I make a fair wage, but I'm not rich, not by any means. Maybe my kind of money wouldn't appeal to your average merc, but I'm willing to pay you if you'll find Keeley and make sure she's safe. In right leaving her out there. No idea if she's alive or dead. All right, I'll look for her. I had a good feeling about you. Moment you walked in. I mean it. I have some questions. Of course. Anything. Can you tell me anything else about Keely? Keely's brilliant. An absolute genius. She plays at being mean, but it's all a front. When you've lived as long as she has, you get defensive around new people. Who wants to make a friend when you know you'll outlive them? Oh, she's a, she's a fool. Exactly how old is Keely? I couldn't get her to say, but she talked about the war. The Great War, when the bombs fell, like she'd been there. So, I'm guessing pretty old. 200 years? Maybe more. Well, how did Keely and Hildren get along? Like a Brahmin and a Deathclaw, though I'm not sure which would be which. Bad analogy, maybe. They're both Deathclaws in their way. Keely hates Hildern. She says he's more politician than scientist, and gets in the way of true discovery. 
And Hildern hates Keeley because, well, because every time they meet, she makes him look like an ass. In front of important people, usually. Sounds like my kind of woman. What's your role here? Good researcher. Mostly on the dam project, but I help out on other things when they need me. Gotta be flexible. Uh, what do you think of Dr. Hildren? The director? He's very well-spoken and knowledgeable. That's not much for an endorsement. What do you really think? Yeah, I don't have enough speech for that. Hold your mention the followers of the apocalypse. My father used to say good things about them, but that was years ago. Back when they teach farmers and ranchers about crop rotation and the like. Nowadays, they've changed. They're doing what they can to discredit the NCR. Give us a bad name with the locals. Dr. Hildren trained with them years ago. Not me, though. I'm an OSI girl. I hear the food around here is pretty bad. It's foul, to tell the truth. Most people try to get what they can from the outside. Even if it's just a smuggled candy bar now and then. Contreras is a genius. He can find almost anything you'd want. Takes caps to get him motivated, though. He won't do a thing for free. Okay. Right. Stay safe. Cool. So... This stands the grass. Enter Vault 22. Well, let's go, um... Return to Alice, I guess. That ring camera came, what the hell? Yeah, a lot of shit just happened, I'm gonna lose my progress. Who the hell am I talking to here? I thought so. <sighs> Caravan company, we gotta talk to Alice. We're probably gonna go search Bolt 22, see what that's all about. And um, see if we can help uh, Betsy out. Welcome back. So, I delivered the invoices, you asked. Well, you've proven yourself reliable so far. Would you be interested in more important jobs? Hey, I'll take it. What other work do you have available? As much as I like to handle matters personally, I can't be everywhere at once. There is a negotiation with a smaller trading outfit that I'd like resolved as quickly as possible. There's also the matter of Henry Jameson, an employee whose services I'd rather do without. His family connections make it difficult, however. And finally, I need someone to acquire the Gunrunner's manufacturing specifications. This job needs to be quiet. No alarms, no deaths. Okay, tell me about some negotiations. There's a small trading outfit, Cassidy Caravans, that I'm interested in acquiring. They've been rather competitive, so it's time to buy them out. I have it on good authority that the owner, Cass, wants out of the caravan business. Cass frequently trades with the NCR, so you'll likely find her at the Mojave outpost. Uh, I'm... 
I want to know more about the problem with Henry Jameson. <clears throat> I'll see what I can Thank do. You. Was there something else? Okay. Acquire the gun runners. Um, okay. Negotiate with cast to buy out cast the caravans. I know where Cass is, so we can talk to her real quick. It was a Mojave outpost, by the way. I couldn't think of the, um, what the place was called. So we gotta go find Cass. <clears throat> oh, there's the problem. Where's the traitor? Hey there, need anything? Oh, there's a 9mm submachine gun. Nobody has picture. That's really hard to believe. Usually Cassie's at the bar. You come around like a bad habit. What's on your mind? Prince of Caravan sent me. They want to buy out your hair, man. They want to buy Cassidy Caravans? Don't they know it's burned to ash? No. Even times being what they are. Not sure I'm looking to sell. Even for all the whiskey in Reno. Wait, what happened to your caravan? Wait. <sighs> Mojave happened. Hit by raiders packing some heavy firepower. Can't believe the Crimson Caravan haven't heard. So if you want to buy all of Cassidy Caravans, you're looking at it. And what I got in my pockets. Still, as little as that is, not looking to sell. So even if you have nothing, you won't sell. If someone came up to you and offered you a thousand caps for your name, would you take it? Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I don't want to hear your answer anyway. Point is, I made the caravan what it is. It's mine. I have the offer right here. The Alice with Lafferty, eh? No, I see the zeros, and I know she's good for them. Still, it's not about the money. Dad'd spin like a twister if he ever heard I sold our name for anything. Are you sure? Look, I know you came all this way, and that takes some drive, especially these days. Just doesn't feel right trading history for a slip of paper. I don't have high enough things for any of this, so I am fucked. So I can't get her to agree to anything because my speech and my barter is not high enough. Why 
fire the gun, run, convince Henry Jameson to quit his position. Uh, if there's anything about convincing, it's not gonna happen. <coughs> <coughs> My speech isn't high enough to make, make anyone do anything. She wants me to fucking steal this, these things, these manufacturing things from gun runners. It's not gonna happen. God, my life pick is high enough to break the gate open. Alright, so we're gonna have to wait on that quest then, so our, our nothing is high enough for any of that. Biggest medical clinic. Hello. Yeah, I go to the Crimson Caravan Company to get to the medical clinic. So right now my speech isn't high enough to convince anyone to do anything, so <clears throat> I'm ready to start working on my speech. Oh, this is the dude that can give input. Welcome to the New Vegas Medical Clinic. I'm a fully qualified physician and can fix whatever is wrong with you for a reasonable fee. If you've got the caps, I've also got several implants available to enhance your physical attributes. What kind of implants do you have available? I have several basic implants available that can enhance your physical abilities, make you faster, smarter, stronger, that sort of thing. I've also got two much more expensive implants. One's a subdermal implant that will make you more resistant to damage. The other implant induces a mild regenerative effect. Your wounds will practically heal before your eyes. Why don't you buy an implant? One other thing I forgot to mention. Your body may be able to handle only a limited number of implants. The healthier you are, the more implants I'll be able to give you. Now, what surgery are you considering? I'd like to have... boost my charisma. The empathy synthesizer will allow you to more easily pick up on subtle 4, emotions and body language. The price is 4,000 caps. I don't have the caps right now. That's alright. Uh, Corporal Betsy for first recount, we tell me to you, uh, to you for me mental treatment. Mental trauma can be just as debilitating as physical injuries. Fortunately, I'm well qualified in such treatment. I'll make time in my schedule. Hey. Hey, I got good karma for that. Uh, do you sell anything here? I have reserved a small part of my supplies for sale. The profits go directly to the purchase of additional supplies to help the less fortunate. How many have for sale? Very well. Uh, 
I don't notice you don't have any pitch, sir. Go figure, that'd be too fucking easy. Alright, so I don't have enough caps for an implant yet. Alright, so... When I get enough caps, I'll come back here. Wow, it's far away. <coughs> Farther away than I anticipated. Now we go from John Runners and run from there. But 4,000 caps for a fucking implant, are you serious? I'm guessing the more endurance you have, the more implants you get. I guess that made sense. All right, so how did we get over there? Like, did we have to go through New Vegas to get there? Alright, no, we probably just go around this way. Get that gun, get my 9 mil equipped. Tell you, New Vegas has got like a big ass border on it. I wish they made a Fallout game and you become a super mutant. That'd be fucking great. I don't know how many people like wouldn't have would become a super super mutant, but I think it'd be really awesome. All Ray Motel. Ugh. Can't run from me. Dude, Boone just split their asses up. She's been dead for a minute, huh? Eyeglasses. Oh yes, that's way better. Alright. 
The note reads, your debt still remains unpaid. We have warned you twice, there will not be a third warning. The only consequence is you have one day. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, so it looks like they delivered on that threat, huh? What's up, girl? Hey there. What's going on? I need to get my lock picking still up. Oh, what's that? Oh, I didn't last so long. Hey, he had picture on him. There's there's our first one. Nice. Only nine more to go. We work casual wear, huh? Yeah, I'm good on that. Alright. Excuse me, Boone. Oh, jeez. Is there any... Oh my god, help me. If there's ever gonna be a locked door, it's probably gonna be a trace temp attic behind it. Well, it's not a chem addict, but it's a dead person. What's the difference? Oh, oh, oh. oh that's, that's, that's not a good taste. Shut that off. Say teddy bear. Man, my character is gonna be old as shit in Fallout 76. I'm just saying. Just remember, like following her. Remember following her, uh, like her age. From uh, like the game standpoint, Fallout 3, she was really young. Fallout New Vegas, she's a little bit older. Fallout 4, she's gonna be a little bit older. Fallout New Vegas, she's gonna be old as fuck. But it is what it is. Oh my god. I really should start paying attention to the ground. You never know when there's gonna be landmines. There's. Someone wants to die over there. Take the cigarettes. Hey, Sunset says for like on factory. Well, I was still exploring, why not? I usually don't um actually actively seek out places to explore. Oh god, the robots. Bestas. Howdy, partner! Welcome to the headquarters of the Sunset Sarsaparilla Company. Wrangle up a stool and listen to old Festus jaw a while. If you and old Festus are old pals, oh, that's old Festus. Otherwise, say, pleased to meet you, and we'll get acquainted. 
Or, if you have more important things to do than talk to old Festus, say goodbye. Pleased to meet you.